Oh dear, is she talking? We lied. Hello everybody, I didn't get any sound from my final control room there, it's not their fault, it's entirely mine. Hello, it's wonderful to be back in the Maasai Mara talking to you with the herd of elephants. An enormous storm overhead uh, here to welcome me back, so pleased to have an enormous storm welcoming me overhead. We've been in our tent uh, for most of the afternoon. Uh, this is my shirt, became quite wet. There we are. Good. And, uh, well, I'm sure everyone's told you this, but I shall tell you again. Hashtag Safari Live is how you get hold of us. It would be wonderful to hear from you. And of course, you can talk to us on the chat streams of whatever platform you happen to be looking at us on, and we'll do our very best to answer any questions that we can. That is, of course, as and when I am able to hear the final control room. I'm not sure why I cannot. Anyway, that's just the way it goes. Craig will relay anything you have to say for the moment. Let's have a look at those elephants. I think we might just drift slowly down the road once we've had a last do -er. let's, let's drift. Let's drift, shall we, Craig? We won't start the engine on account of that the engine is so very, very loud indeed. And it's, uh, well, it's been quite dry, I'm told, over the last little while, but it seems now to be wet again now that I've arrived back. And uh, poor old Craig, I didn't bring tea for him today. I thought that the rains had finished and so he wouldn't need any tea. So it goes. We're going past some zebras and it's fascinating, of course, to come back here and find out what it is that has changed since I have been gone. It was only two weeks and not a huge amount of change has changed. It seems that the wildebeest are pretty much in the same place that they were when I left and we still have quite a few zebra around here. Here's a very pretty little one over there. And I'm sure they are probably not that pleased that the zebra have left this area because, of course, they are now the major targets for the Angama pride. I'm hearing nothing of that, Craig. If you're getting something, I can see that she's talking. Hmm? Oh, the viewers are thrilled to have me back, are they? Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be back. I'm just trying to fix this. I'm not sure what's going on here. Anyway. You know, the vagaries of these earpieces. Difficult to figure out exactly what it is that happens to them. Never mind, we'll fix them in due course. That very, very wet looking little foal you can see there, uh, well, you can see it has definitely been raining in this area. It's not just that Craig and I like to be in a small confined canvas space together. It has genuinely been raining. Okay, let's nip a little bit further along the road and see if we can't have a nice look at those elephants. And then my plan was to head off down there over the escarpment and see if we couldn't find the sausage tree pride. But at the moment, I'm not sure we're going to get that far. We're certainly going to try. And with any luck, we will have... Oh. Some very nice flapping noises coming out of the top. These roofs are being fixed, everybody, which is great news indeed, given that the fact that the Maasai Mara now seems to receive more rainfall than your average hectare of Amazon rainforest. The elephants are disappearing down into that laga, so I think we're going to change tack slightly and go down this way, and then we'll make our way towards the escarpment. Um. Right, marvellous. Okay, we're going to head across to Ali now in South Africa. Obviously, uh, she has got something uh, belonging to the genus Dragolaphus.